Hello, everybody. So I'm currently talking to Nylon. Nylon has been data mining the game. And he's been data mining the game a lot. And I wanted to share two things real quick with you guys. I'm going to make a, another video later on with all of this info can very concise and make it very clean. But right now, I want to share two exciting things. Number one, there are some hidden character stats that I didn't know about. And as far as I know on the wiki, I've seen nothing on these. So I want to go over those. But first, I want to show you guys this. And it's right here. Here is a list of item IDs as well as the names that they're connected to. I'm gonna put a disclaimer here. Just because they're on this list does not mean they're going to be in the game. This just means they're in the game files. The Hohapu games, the developers might decide to not put some items in or completely change the name or the, the what the item does. We don't know any of that. All this is saying is that currently this is what's in the game file. So let's see, we start at number 335. I'm gonna scroll really slowly so you guys can pause and read the names. I didn't play the first game, so I don't really know what any of these items do realistically, except for like the ones that are already in the game, like War Banner and Crowbar. But if you guys have played the first game and some of these items are in there, leave it in the comments below. I want to know what some of these items are doing because this is this is super exciting for me. Look, we start at 335. I'll scroll super slow. Look at this. Look at all these items. Holy crap. Like charge field generator. What does that even mean, dude? 56 leaf clover. Don't we have 57? So I guess they just named it. Maybe it's 56. I'm just probably dumb. Shackles. Smart shopper. I think that's one for the first game. I've heard people uh, comment that in the... And other videos. Look at all these, man. Look at all, dude. This is so exciting. Look at all of these items, man. And I don't know what the crash is because there's multiple items that say crash, like crash, crash, nematasis nozzle. Like what the heck? Nematasus, nematasis. I don't know, man. I don't know, but that's a 472 heroes cap. Look, that that's this is cool to me. I don't know what this is gonna be. That sounds awesome. But 472. We start at what 330 something. I think right now there's like 70 something items in the game. So that means almost 140 new items are potentially coming in. That's insane. Potentially, potentially. Again, the disclaimer at the beginning, they might not add any of these. They might add all of them, we don't know. So I am super pumped for this. The other thing I wanna go over is up here. So we have, these are the stats for the characters. We know this, base max health, base region, base max shields. I didn't know that was a stat. Movement speed, acceleration, base jump power. Interesting base jump times that one makes sense. So everyone's one except for the mercenary. He starts at two jump times That's that's makes sense base damage attack speed crit and armor. Okay, those all make sense But here's the interesting part modifiers per level max health region. Yeah, it makes sense max shield That's an interesting one move speed jump power so you get these increase per level. That's very interesting. So move speed and jump power. So I'm assuming jump power is like tied to the animation of the jump, how high the jump can, no, because jump height was separate, right? No jump time. So maybe this is like jump height or like jump speed. Who knows, man? Like I, I want more info on this stuff and I'm still talking to him. So I'm, I hope uh, he can give me a lot, of, a lot more info on this stuff because this is exciting. So stats that don't fall into the category, sprint speed multiplier, max jump height and crit heal. So crit heal, I'm assuming, is just proc coefficient for healing. Maybe not. Maybe maybe you can critically strike on a heal. I don't know what this is supposed to mean, but that it exists in the game. So here's a really interesting thing. All characters currently share 80 base acceleration and 15 base jump power. So everyone has the same acceleration and jump right off the bat. They also share base attack speed of 1, which makes sense for everybody. But it means, as he points out here, that they're affected by attack speed based on their animations. Because everyone has the same attack speed base. Meaning like the, the, the multis cast of his rebar shot, for example. There's a quick charge up time, but it's not that much. And compare that to the Artificer and her nano bomb on her M2, that's a much different charge time. So they get attack speed in different ways. That's very interesting right here. Rather than a specific attack speed for each character. So it's dependent on the animation. And then right here, everyone has a 1% crit chance. I already knew that. Uh, transcendence. So there's some interesting on Transcendence. So it works one-to-one -one exactly how it says. So it just increases all your healing stuff by 50%. So Titanic Neural, instead of 40 health, gives you 60. So Infusion is actually very interesting to me. It gives two shield rather than one shield per kill. That one doesn't make sense to me because I guess it rounds up because 50% increase of one because Infusion states that you kill one monster, you get one health, right? You convert to Transcendence, now your health is shield but 1.5 shield per kill should be the round. So they just rounded up the two. That's pretty good. That's actually very good, but it increases to 150. So the 150 is from the 100 increased by 50%. That one makes sense. Shield generators aren't that great. That's, yeah, exactly. Shield generators are not that great in my opinion either. Uh, second trend is very strong. Yep, yep, yep. 
if moment speed gets too high then your acceleration won't keep up with you and you'll go much slower than faster if you guys have seen some clips on youtube i sure have of people having like 20 million goat hooves and stuff and they'll the they'll feet will be moving like this fast but they'll be moving like uh, uh, like that quick so that's all this is saying if you get really fast like you see right here Eventual lower where it's bad, but it takes a massive amount. So you have to get like ludicrous amounts of movement speed for this to actually happen. Here's another very interesting stat. Sprinting multiplies your move speed by 1.45. Just that's the multiplier. When you press your control key or whatever your sprint key's on, I think the default's shift or something. I changed my key. 1.45 times your movement speed is now your sprint speed. That's really interesting to me. So that's pretty much all the info I have right now. Like I said, I'm still talking to him. By the way, this guy's name is Nylon. I'll put up his icon and his name so you guys can see it. Um, dude, thank you, Nylon. Thank you very much for all this info. And he's still he's still getting me tons of info. But dude, look at the items. I am so pumped for all these items, man. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Let me know if I'm uh if I'm going over these items and you guys know what they do. Just let me know what they do. I want to hear all the p potential builds with this, all the potential new stuff coming out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll definitely make a follow up video with tons more detail.